Yes guys, welcome to your shoulder mobility workout. So today's workout, you're gonna need a resistance band and just your body weight. So this workout has been filmed primarily for those who came on the joint pain program at Nuffield Health Bloomsbury. I've designed a mobility quick 15 minute video to help improve your posture, improve your shoulder mobility, and help to work through the thoracic spine, the upper back, okay? If you're new to these videos, I've also got many more videos online for shoulders and hips, which are free to use, guys. Please jump on uh, on the YouTube channel and have a look through those. This is a more basic, I have some more advanced workouts as well, but this is the only workout I've got using resistance bands, which is great if you have one. Okay, for those who came on the program, you would have been given a blue and a yellow band. For today, I'm gonna to use a blue band, but please use a band that's gonna challenge you and be effective for you. Okay, I'm just using a blue, because that's what I've got access to, guys. So, you haven't got to use blue if you wanna use the yellow one. If you haven't got a band, please just watch the video and join in where you can. I have got some bodyweight exercises later on, which would be great for you to do. So, if you have a band, you're gonna grab, just gonna demonstrate, you're gonna go into a band to pull apart the start. You're gonna bring the band towards your chest, you're then gonna come back side on. It looks like this. The idea is to strengthen across your upper back, to bring your shoulders back, and to improve your posture. So, you're gonna start with 12 reps, guys. You're gonna set the band out in front. You're gonna go in three, in two, in one. Bring it towards, and then back. So towards, back, very nice. So as we go through today's workout, it's important to try and follow the same speed of movement I'm going through. We call it tempo in the fitness industry. If you go slower, that's fine. If you find yourself going quicker, just try and slow it down very slightly. Just match my tempo, guys. Good. I'm gonna go five more, so together, and back, keeping those arms straight. So together, and back. Really nice. Go two more. Then one more time. And take a little rest from there, guys. Excellent. We're now going to go into an exercise called a chest open. And the idea is to bring those shoulders backwards, okay? So you're going to take, just going to demonstrate, you're going to bring the band upwards. You're going to take it over the head. If you have the mobility, you're going to go down lower. But to start with, please feel free just to come up to above the head. And then once you feel warm, go down a little bit further. You're going to keep the arms straight. You're going to try and bring those shoulders back. We're going to go in three, do 12 of these. In two, in one, you're going to come up, over, and then back to the start. Very good. And again, that's good, guys. So this one, we're looking to try and bring the shoulder blades back or the shoulders back. Spend a lot of time sitting down. That's going to really bring those shoulders forward. And this exercise is here to try and reverse the effects or the negative effects of spending time in a forward position. Go five more. Over. Very nice. Four to go. Good team. Three more. Excellent. Last two. Keep going through one more time. Over. Back. And recover. All right, you might feel your upper back getting engaged on that one. You might feel your shoulders becoming quite tight or warm. Okay, and that's fine. You're working your upper back. You're going to feel those muscles activating. That's why it's so good. You have an active upper back. It's going to allow you to bring your shoulders back over time. Rather than being forward, you can improve the posture, be more upright. And that's fantastic for long-term health, guys. We're going to go back one more time for both exercises. So, back pull apart. First of all, we're going three, in two, in one. You're going to bring together. We're just going to go two rounds on each exercise today, guys. If in your own time you want to increase that to three, you're more than welcome. You can also repeat this workout multiple times in a week. So it's really good to try and add it in at least two or three times throughout the week. Use it as a wake up routine, use it as an evening routine, just to help with your posture, to activate those muscles, guys. Good. Go five more through. Together. Back four more. Nice. Three to go. Last two. And one more time. Take a little breather. Awesome, guys. So one more time, we're gonna go into that chest opener exercise. So you're looking to really bring those shoulders back. 12 reps, we're going three, in two, one up, and back. Spot on. On these exercises, you find it easy and you wanna progress yourself. If you take those hands closer on the band, it makes the band a little bit tighter. It's gonna make it more challenging. If you find it too hard, Take hands further away from each other. That's going to reduce the intensity. 
allow a little more ease through the exercise, guys. Spot on. Give me five more. Over. And back. Forward to go. Over. And back. Spot on. Very nice. Three more. Last two. Last set of these. I'm doing this one again. One more time. Over. Back. And recover. So we've used the band, we've got nice and warm through the shoulders. We're now going to work onto a body weight exercise. In class, I call this one dancing arms, but it's actually called axial rotations, but it makes more sense when we say dancing arms or dancing hands. So our shoulders are designed to rotate. So ball and socket joint, you should have ample and sufficient rotation. But a lot of the time, we are quite fixed for our shoulders. We don't actually explore, explore the full range of movement at the shoulder girdle. So this exercise, you're gonna have one palm facing towards the ground, one palm facing up towards the ceiling. You are then going to change the position by rotating and then rotating. Makes sense? So always have one facing down, one facing up, and then change position. Get yourself ready, two rounds of this one. Palm down, palm up, in three, you're gonna change in two, in one. So rotate, rotate, good. Nice. Good guys. Excellent for that shoulder mobility. Really keeps those shoulders healthy over time. Good work. Give me 10 more. So there. And a bit. Start to dance with those arms. <laughs> Give me four more. Three, two, one, and a rest. And a little head bob is. Uh, an additional extra if you want to add it in guys, but it's not essential. So, you should feel pretty nice for those shoulders right now. I'm going to do one more time. We're then going to go into two final exercises followed by a stretch to finish off for today guys. Okay, so it's a nice quick workout that should leave you feeling better for your posture and healthier for those shoulders. So one more time, once again. If you want to change the other hand facing downwards, so feel free. Palm down, palm up. We're going to go in three, in two, in one. You're going to rotate and rotate, good. Very nice. Little pause and back. Gonna keep working. Ten more. Nice guys. Five more. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. And rest in from there. Then the final two exercises. One is called a dual swimmer. And one is called an alternating black burn exercise. Both are designed to really bring those shoulders back. We're going to do eight reps on both exercises, twice through, and then we stretch the chest to finish. So, exercise one, standing tall. On this one, try not to push your hips too far away from you or bring them back. You don't want to have a, a lower back strain, so a curved lower back. So you're going to engage your core, hips in, squeeze the glutes, core engaged from there. Thumbs are going to drive upwards into the air. When you can't go any further, Get stuck, don't just push your hips forward to go further. You've got your glutes switched on, and you can't go any further. You're gonna rotate the hands downwards, bend the elbows, extend, come up, and finish like so. Makes sense. Eight of those, okay? We're gonna go in three, two, one. Drive them up, can't go further, rotate. Come around, together, out, over, and down. So you're trying to explore that full range of movement at the shoulder. You may hear a bit of clicking if you do, it's completely normal guys. Now, do not worry if you hear your shoulders or feel your shoulders a little bit grinding. Over time, it's quite likely that your joint's gonna develop that kind of sound. That's normal. Everyone stopped training because they felt a little bit of clicking through their joints. You find no one would train in the whole world. <laughs> so, that's fine, but pain, with joint, clicking, okay, you may need to go and investigate that, but just clicking about pain is completely normal and healthy. Do not worry, go two more. Driving up, rotate, down, down. Over, you've got one more time. Last one, guys, coming up with me. Around, out, back, over, and finish. We're gonna find ourselves Another exercise and the final exercise, we go back to the first one. All set in black, where you take the back of your hand into your lower back, palm of your hand onto your head. From there, think of a helicopter. Take your hands off, extend, go around, switch position, okay? You're gonna do eight of those. 
we ready? In three, same applies to the glutes, switch your glutes on, engage your core. In two, one, lift off, extend, around, touch. And again, off, out, around, touch. Really nice. Good guys. Four more. Three to go. Really good. Two more. One more time, guys. And take a little breather. So we're keeping the reps quite low. That's fine. The idea is that you should be working through the full range of movement. And if we do that, we don't want to keep the reps really high. Think of it as like a strength exercise. You're getting stronger in your joints and you're really helping yourself have the longevity over that period of time. We're now going to go back into your exercise on one of the two. And that's going to be the dual swimmer coming up and rotating around. In other words, to describe this, it's called a car, a shoulder car. So it's controlled, articulated rotations. We are controlled through the movement, and that's the point of mobility, guys. We are controlled in everything we do, and we have helped to improve our long-term joint health. Right, we're gonna drive the thumbs up. We're going three, in, in or one, you're gonna come up. You can't go any further, you rotate around. You touch, you lower back, you come up, you come over, you come down. We're gonna go seven more. We're just doing one more set through. Up. Very good. Nice, guys. Nice. Gonna keep working through. Let's keep pushing. Very good. Got four more to go. Three more, guys. Last two, last time on this one for today. Now, one more time. Last one, team. Up, over, out, and rest it. Very nice. All right, we've got ourselves the axial, that's, that's a light. We've got ourselves the alternating black burn exercise. We've done the axial rotations already. I'm not the notes again. Back of your hands on your lower back, palm on your head. You're gonna switch position, helicopter time, in three, in two, in one. Lift off, extend, around, and touch, good. And again, around, to touch, nice. Keep working through. Four more. Let's go, team. Three, three to go. Two. One more time. One more time, guys. Around and take a recovery. Awesome work. So, five exercises we work through today. We did our band pull apart with a resistance band. We did our chest opener with a band. We then worked into our axial rotation, dancing arms. We then worked for our shoulder dual swimmer and finished off with an alternating black burn exercise, guys. So, five extra movements to add in to your week and routine to help your shoulder mobility, to help your posture, and to really engage up back. We're going to finish with a stretch. We've worked into up back. We're now going to lengthen through the chest. What you need to do is take your palm into the wall and then you're going to rotate away and that's going to lengthen and open up your chest. Take your hands into a wall and from there, fingers are pointing away from you, behind you. You're then going to feel a deep stretch into your chest. And the idea behind this, we spend a lot of time sitting down. That's going to really shorten and tighten your chest muscle. We don't want that. That's going to really Bring the shoulders forward. We want to lengthen the chest and strengthen the upper back. That's going to reverse some of the negative effects of sitting down, guys. So find yourself there. For 30 to 60 seconds, we want you to stretch through. Evidence has shown us that's an optimal time to spend stretching. You can go longer, but I'd rather you spend 30 to 60 seconds each day stretching and do three or four minutes one day a week. Let's hold it through. For our last 10 seconds, we're going to change sides. Last five, four, three, other hand, two, one, around, hand into the wall, away, and you're gonna open up through your chest, guys. Let's hold it there. So once again, thank you for joining today. It's been fantastic to have you at the class. You can use this video, or you can redo this multiple times, two, three times a week. Also, if you like these kind of videos, do jump on the videos before. You've got small shoulder workouts, which are fantastic to go through. You want to work for your hips as well. They're all free, all accessible. In fact, I would recommend the mobility workouts if you've enjoyed this one. This is the only one using a resistance band, guys. Okay, just hold yourself through.
stay in there, last 10 seconds. If you like these kind of exercises and you want to inquire, we do have a joint pain program that runs at Nuffield Health Bloomsbury, either contact the club or message me directly and I'll give you some information about the program we do run on the site. It's a 12 week program and designed helping those with joint pain and really helping to improve their quality of life, but also give them confidence to come into the gym and sort of find benefit uh, for exercise. So to bring yourself back, resting guys. And one final thing, if you do enjoy stretching and find yourself a little bit inflexible, I've got a stretch workout, actually two stretch workouts on my YouTube channel. Please have a look at those, 30 minutes, excellent to work through the full body and to leave you feeling really loose and very much stretched out uh, in that approach, guys. So, thank you for joining once again. Keep training, keep working hard, and I will see you all again very soon. Well done, guys.